Hello, it's Monday the 26th of November. In this video I'm looking at the latest Euro Millions results. I'm going to analyse it and make a prediction. So, nobody won the jackpot in the last draw, so it's now up to 32 million. And the machine was machine 11, set of balls one, which they've been using all month. So, they're probably going to continue using that, and it's now the 26th, so tomorrow with the 27th, and so they'll be using machine 2 set balls 1 again, most probably, and so the next draw, that's what's probably going to happen. But anyway, this is my analysis of the result from draw 1166. So these were the winning numbers. So only the star numbers were initially outstanding. And to show you that on a chart, I'll just get rid of the main numbers so this is the star numbers um, so looking at the chart for machine 2 set of balls 1 the winning star numbers 3 and 10 that's where they were on that and if we just look at machine 2 then 10 stood out as most overdue for its frequency on that one. If we look at all machines and sets of balls, number 10 was most overdue and number 3 was most frequent. This is looking at recent history since the star numbers went up to 12. And looking at just set of balls 1. Um, on that you can see number 3 is most frequent and it's always been most frequent <coughs> on that so looking at full draw history most frequent so back to the analyzer so we've just been looking at these charts now Looking at the charts for star numbers 3 and 10, you can see they were most overdue with each other with set of balls 1. So set of balls 1, star number 3, full draw history, most overdue, star number 10. Then looking at it the other way around. There's number three, most overdue. So they stood out with each other, and on the main number side, they pointed to some of the main numbers. So, star number 10 in recent history pointed to main number five. So, if we look at star number 10 and this time we're looking at the main numbers, not the star numbers. So you notice I call machine 11, I call it machine 2. Uh, because there's only three machines, there's machine 1, machine 11 and machine 3. So machine 11, I think of it as being machine 2. So, anyway, uh, machine 2, R11, uh, star number 10, notice that main number 8 had never occurred with machine 2 and star number 10 in the same draw before until now. So it was most overdue. So the chart we just looked at was that one. Now I'm going to look at this one. So 
So that's all machines and sets of balls and just recent history. So for that I need to narrow it down like that and there's main number five standing out on that. So so far two star numbers, two main numbers could have been predicted. So that's that one I was just looking at. Um that's the same for machine two as well. So I'll just change that to machine two. A smaller chart but still the same. Same number stands out in the same way. So on the analyzer then if we look at machine two and full draw history then we should see 26 standing out on that with star number three. So the position that 5 was standing out with 10 is the same as the position that 26 was standing out with star number 3, most overdue for its frequency. That means if we take the vertical component and horizontal component of each number, multiply them together to measure this area, 26 is the one with the biggest area. So it stood out the most in that way. And then narrow it down to the deepest level which is the individual machine set of balls then we should see main number 30 standing out on that chart paired with star number 3 and there it is so you can see that these numbers stood out so I've got one, two, three, four. That's four of the numbers that could have been predicted just from the star numbers that could have been predicted just from where they were on the chart. And the only one that they didn't point to was 25, but if you look, 25 is the most frequent with a set of balls one and main number eight. So let's have a look at the chart for that then. Main number 8, set of balls 1, what's the most frequent number? Oh look, it's 25, could have been predicted from that. So these numbers were all predictable by looking at these charts you could have seen the ways that they were predictable. <coughs> However, these this is only showing the coincidences at the moment and to see those coincidences and pick these numbers you would have had to ignore all these other outstanding numbers so these are all the numbers that stood out before the last draw and now that the last draw has occurred these are what numbers stand out now so these are the ones that now stand out. Uh, so at the deepest level we've got main number 12, most overdue for its frequency. And star number 8, most overdue for its frequency. I noticed that 27 stands out a lot. Uh, 12 comes up again with set of balls 1. So uh, I think probably the most outstanding numbers on there then would be 12, 27 and also if you're following this strategy which is the one number up pick strategy then without narrowing it down at all um, yeah, you'll know that if you if you watch my last videos, you'll know that I recently won eighty quid by putting eight lines on main number nineteen. Well, next it's gonna be 
main number 11 and we're only on draw 2 so that means we're here which means spend £1.50 on one line to, make, to win £10 subtracting the money previously lost in the last draw makes a profit of £7 so this is my strategy so I'm going to follow that now with main number 11 now if you'd followed this strategy since the Euro Millions Hot Picks began in draw 1080 and you started with £6 the most you would ever have had to bet is 15 the lowest that your balance would have gone to is 0 but now your balance would be up to £92.50 so also bear in mind that this has only been since draw 1080 so out of how many draws is that? <coughs> 86 draws so on average this strategy makes uh, just over one pound profit per draw so it seems to work so far so good but anyway that's my one number up pick strategy so back to the analyzer let's pick number 11 see what numbers stand out with that now my favorite two number up pick is 16 and 27 because that is the most overdue pair <coughs> and it looks like 27 is good with 12 and 12 is good with 27 they stand out together in recent history and also um, star number 4 is now the most overdue but star number 5 most overdue with machine 2 and set of balls 1 so maybe 4, maybe 5 or maybe both of them together do they stand out together? yes they do see 5 stands out with 4 but 4 don't stand out with 8 uh, with 5 but I'm thinking about putting 8 on anyway Which is most frequent with five. So I don't know. But anyway. Um fifty's not been out for a while, has it? That's the most frequent number. Um where is number fifty? There it is. I think it's about time number 50 came out again because it's the most frequent and it comes out a lot so these are all the numbers that stand out with the numbers at the top of each column <coughs> and so for example you can see how to read this can't you it's like um, I notice 20 stands out with all these as well. So, anyway, these are the numbers to, that I'm probably going to pick. Although I might change my mind by tomorrow. So, I'll leave you with that and a nice picture of the main chart, but I'm going to narrow it down to machine to set of balls one because uh, that's the chart that you probably need to pick your numbers from because they're going to use machine two and set of balls one in the next draw so this is the chart for that and you can see f 
33 not come out yet with machine two and set of balls one so good chance 33 might come out uh, these are the other numbers I will looking at 27 is there 12 is there uh, 36 is the most frequent on that 50 is just sort of in the middle so I'm not really bothered about that one but number 5 on the star number side most overdue 12 most frequent there's 8 most overdue for its frequency so good luck with that it's in tomorrow night's draw I hope you win like if you do let me know in the comments uh, I hope this video has helped you to pick your numbers and so that's it for now look out for the next video